Daytona Dice Junkies, COVID edition. <laughs> I'm Zeno <laughs> Damus, and I'm here with, uh, there he is, over on that side. Now, and a lot of people are saying that, that, uh, that you know, this these types of, uh, of, of, I guess, wokeness in, in the shows have been killing Netflix. And uh, we Wait, see gotcha. that Netflix actually <laughs> did lose, what, 400,000 subscribers in the U.S.? U.S., um, Canada. They blamed it on COVID, but I think it's been their wokeness. And then they also lost, I think, uh, 5% in their in their stocks. And 30% or so of the market share to the other streaming services. So. It's not been great. Like, Netflix took a pretty big hit it up in the recent quarters. Um, other streaming services are biting into their business pretty big, and their growth has taken a big dive. It's almost like they look, they, it's almost like they let some loser go out there and tell everybody, fuck our subscribers. It's almost like that happened. Well, these you know? wouldn't. These particular uh, losses would not be tied to that because these are, these are actually the, the I guess the quarter before that. But I mean, me it will be interesting them, to see next quarter if those uh, losses continue to happen or grow even faster. Well, I'll answer with this: What are you, what's coming out on Netflix you're looking forward to? Now that Castlevania's done, do they literally have anything that's on your wish list now? I mean, I don't know. Not that I can think of right offhand. I mean, they ain't got shit. And then on top of that, like, like the stuff that they did put out recently has been trash fire. I think they and said there might be another. Did. There might be another season of Lucifer. I, I enjoyed that show. Well, yeah, but you know, I won't watch that. I don't normally get too strict on that stuff, but I'm not going to watch a show called Lucifer. That's that's where my line is. Even for me, I'm like, ah, I don't normally Bible thump, but like, I don't think I'm going to watch Lucifer. <laughs> but I heard it's good. Don't get me wrong. People want to, plus also, I know Netflix. I mean, I, most of what I watch, I piggyback off of your like, <laughs> watching it with you. I come over there and we sit down and watch Netflix because I ain't paying them a penny. Because you know me, unlike a lot of people, I stick to my guns. As per my Sony grudge, uh, once I said I'm canceling my Netflix, yeah, that's not going back. You know, but that's on a, a much stronger moral point than just the crappy shows. That's on the whole, they put out some creepy shit and then defended the hell out of it for people that don't remember the cuties debacle. But um, I can't think of anything coming out that's caught my eye. That's even really, I mean, I like the fact they still put out comedy. I'm shocked they let people tell their jokes and they haven't started censoring the hell out of it yet. But, um, you know, they still have a decent comedy selection. But other than that, they're not worth the money. I mean, they're ruining everything they put out. Every time they put something out, it's like a lot of stuff they put out is just trash. And I've heard they got plans for other stuff and that they've may even start screwing around with the dubs on some of the anime they got out. So I'm just like sitting here with my head shaking going like, all right, Netflix, you're going to bury yourself. I look forward to the day that Netflix becomes a minority of the market. It's still a big majority just because it's been around it long. But if they keep losing these market shares, we may see Netflix, uh, Netflix become a little corner wedge of the streaming market. And I will hold a party that day because they're, they're just – terrible i don't like their practices i don't like their attitude and you know me man once i once i decide you're a shit company it's not easy to climb back up and looking at the way netflix is acting they're not gonna they don't they don't care to they could give a fuck they apparently have reached that level of arrogance that's unique to companies like blizzard where they've got that rock star mentality of just man we're making all the money we do what we want oh and, it's the uh, <laughs> oh blizzard you yeah, just, uh, and I mean, it worked. We see how it's working out for them, especially for like uh, sponsorships. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm saying right. we segue in like professionals. I, 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 I really wanted to save Blizzard for the end, but uh... oh, we can work our way around. What else you got? I mean, we've heard such new horror stories. I mean, big props to Young, yeah. Mm. I thought, like, I never thought someone would beat Sterling because. James Stephanie Sterling has been covering the snot out of the Blizzard 
Activision stuff, but Young Ye came came with some information I'd never seen that freaked me out. I was just like, oh my god! But we'll, we'll get there. Let's let's have a crescendo. Yeah.